Welcome to Pod Me If You Can TV, I'm David Farrell. And I'm Lloyd Hughes. And here on Pod Me If You Can TV we find obscure titles with your favourite stars and we discuss them. Today's film, Falling In Love Again. Man, that Michelle sounds like Fa- one of the most iconic titles I've ever heard. Yeah, look, um, it's probably a pretty generic title. There's probably more films out there named Falling In Love Again, <laughs> but this one is from 1980, so way back in the day. It is Michelle Pfeiffer's first feature film. Wow. Which is good to see. Uh, Elliot Gould also stars in it, which, you know, most popularly known from lately in uh, Friends as Monica's dad or... <laughs> Uh, he's in the Ocean's Eleven series as Saul. Um, look, he's married with two kids, and he's nostalgic and having a midlife crisis. So they take a road trip to the Bronx, which is uh, where he grew up in New York. Um, he's with this woman who you're kind of like, I don't know, they're sort of fighting a lot. It's sort of uh, generic marriage problems, you know. Um, they're not fighting about anything in particular. I think they just have been together a long time, and he's... Uh, He's basically, based on the cover and stuff, I'll tell you first of all, based on this, it looks to me like he's going to leave his wife for Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, The the blurb implies that as well, you know, uh, that he rekindles his old feelings as uh, he sort of finds his first love again. But the thing is... It's all flashbacks to 1944, so Michelle Pfeiffer is never in a scene with Elliot Gould. Elliot Gould is the grown-up version of this character, and Michelle Pfeiffer is the younger version of his wife. Right. With me? Sort of. So this is <laughs> it, this is a little bit like How I Met Your Mother, um, like Elliot Gould retelling the story to his two kids if the kids were not really listening and wearing headphones the whole time, <laughs> and and he's just remembering the story of how he met his uh, his wife and how great things were then and how he had to prove himself, you know. Um, he had no money. He was a real underdog. There's a scene where she's with a popular boy who's also a boxer. You would have enjoyed that. Oh, cool. He, he, uh, he basically has a Rocky-style montage, you know. This film would have been way more relevant only four years after Rocky came out, <laughs> um, you know, copying and mimicking Rocky. But he has a training montage where he's doing push-ups and running upstairs and things like that to train to be a better boxer, you know, to eventually fight this guy, which they don't really have a fight. So he's just trying to improve himself. There's a lot of, like, potential in him as a young guy. He wants to be an architect, um, much like how I met your mother, just quietly. Uh, there's, um, there's a lot of potential to him. And now that he's like, grown up, he's wasted it. He's, he's like, where did it go? Why didn't I do anything? This is the midlife crisis he's having. And, you know, he gave up on his dream and he grew up and he had... He became this guy in suburbia and they own a clothing store, you know? And he's coming to terms with that. And this that way feels like a film for older people, you know? Who um, perhaps want to settle and say, I'm okay with what I've become, you know? Mm. Um, there's a lot of jokes in the flashbacks in 1944. Obviously, there's a war going on. So there's really a lot of sort of relevant storylines around that. But... Um, the jokes are often very slapstick, you know, somebody uh, pulling the lead of some binoculars while someone's still wearing them, you know, and yeah. dragging that person to the right or left of frame. Um, it's a very adult movie, though, because there's issues with Elliot Gould's character. Um, he's having sexual issues with his wife. He uh, cheats on his wife at one point, which is weird because the film is called Falling in Love Again. He's falling in love again with his wife but to do that he has to kind of cheat around and and it becomes very serious by the end of the film their relationship and they it's let down by its ending this one um it's got kind of a nice sideways uh of new york woody allen kind of feel to it you know like there's there's a bigger movie the city of new york is is a character here um it would be very nostalgic for anyone who lived in New York because by the time they go back on this road trip, things have changed, you know? Yeah. Um, it's just... The the problem is, is that the relationship isn't, I guess, realistic. Um, the ending is a bit flat. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer doesn't have as much to do because she's just in flashbacks, but it is a strong first performance for her. You know, it does show some star quality. A lot of what we're finding in these films is... There's somebody, 
the person who wound up becoming fame uh, wound up becoming famous yeah. who stands out in these roles hey yeah she, did she have a big strong screen presence in this movie like when you looked at Michelle Pfeiffer you're just like wow you know you really it really drew your attention it did but it helps that you know she's Michelle Pfeiffer sure, and you yeah. know she's going to go on to be Catwoman and and do great speeches in you know story of us and stuff yeah. it's just um it's just that you sort of gravitate towards her i guess because you have all this kind of foundation for what sure. um, what she does look it's a good film it's not a great film and it's just a yeah, bit of an unfortunate 5.0 on um imdb yes yeah, so th- it's the third act it's got to be the third act for me um and not so much elliot gould in this because it it's got large chunks of flashback it feels like everybody was sort of you know doing part of a film almost. i think it's got uh, a great title and it just sounds like one of those movies like when harry met sally like one of those classic love stories that everyone has seen but yeah i guess not huh <laughs> no one final note i'll say david caruso does play a uh, neighborhood boy he's uncredited in the film but uh he's there in the background so i'll try and dig up a picture of that for this <laughs> all right find more of us at www.podmeifyoucan.com <laughs>